The latest space race. Can we really colonize Mars? Imagine a world where your morning coffee isn't brewed in New York, Tokyo, or London, but on Mars. Outside your window, red dunes stretch for miles, solar panels gleam under an alien sun, and rovers glide silently across the Martian soil. This isn't science fiction anymore. It's the next chapter of human history. Welcome to the new space race, but this time, the finish line isn't the moon. It's another planet. Chapter 1. The race begins. Again, back in the 1960s, the world watched in awe as the US and the Soviet Union battled to reach the moon. That race ended in 1969 with Neil Armstrong's famous steps, but now, over 50 years later, a new kind of space race is underway. The competitors? Not just countries, but billionaires and private companies. NASA has its Artemis program. SpaceX, led by Elon Musk, is building Starship to colonize Mars. China's CNSA is planning its own manned Mars mission. And Blue Origin, led by Jeff Bezos, dreams of space colonies beyond Earth. But out of all these players, Mars is the glittering red prize everyone wants to win. Chapter 2. Why Mars? So, why Mars? It's close, relatively speaking. About six months by rocket, it has water in the form of ice. A day on Mars is 24.6 hours, almost like Earth. It has seasons, volcanoes, and can potentially support life. But Mars is not a paradise. It's freezing. The atmosphere is thin. There's no breathable air, dangerous radiation, and deadly dust storms. So how do we plan to live there? Chapter 3. How we'll survive. Scientists and engineers are already designing habitats that can withstand Mars' hostile environment. Picture this. Domed greenhouses growing food in Martian soil. Solar farms providing energy. Oxygen extracted from the carbon dioxide rich atmosphere. Water melted from underground ice. AI powered robots building homes before humans even arrive. The tech is not fully ready but prototypes are being tested here on Earth, in deserts, lava tubes, and even Antarctica. It's no longer if we can build on Mars, it's when. Chapter 4. The First Martians NASA aims to land humans on Mars by the late 2030s. But Elon Musk? He's aiming sooner. SpaceX plans to send cargo ships as early as 2026, followed by humans not long after. His long-term goal? A self-sustaining city of over one million people by the end of this century. These won't be tourists. They'll be engineers, doctors, farmers, and scientists. The first generation of Martians. Chapter 5. Earth's Backup Plan? Here's where it gets deep. Musk has often said, we need to make life multiplanetary. Why? Because Earth isn't invincible. Pandemics, climate change, wars, or even asteroid impacts could threaten our survival. Mars isn't just a dream, it's a backup plan, a second home for humanity, a giant insurance policy in space. But critics argue, shouldn't we fix Earth before fleeing to Mars? The answer, we must do both. Chapter 6. The Moral Questions. Colonizing another planet isn't just science, it's ethics. Who gets to go? Will it be just the rich? How do we avoid repeating Earth's mistakes? Inequality, pollution, war. These are the questions future Martians will have to answer. Because building a city is easy. Building a better civilization, that's the real challenge. So can we colonize Mars? Technically, yes. Politically, maybe. But emotionally and morally, that's up to all of us. Because the future isn't written in the stars. It's written by dreamers, doers, and the brave souls willing to take that giant leap for mankind. Again, if this story inspired you, like, comment, and subscribe for more bold journeys into the future. Drop a comment below. Would you live on Mars? We conduct detailed research to create this content, but it's difficult to completely describe the story in short video. For more details, reference links are given in description. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video,
please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Your support means the world to us.